snail which melteth, let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Right, when the Lord gives us that power, we're gonna do Esau like a snail. You ever take a snail and pour salt on it? Yeah. Watch his ass shrivel up? <laughs> that's fucking evil. I mean, to do that to an actual snail, but to do it to Esau, that's okay. Yeah. That's how we're gonna do Esau. Yeah. For fun, too. Huh? For fun, too. Yeah. I'm not a type of person into killing bugs and shit. Yeah. But we, we, we're going, Esau is a, a cockroach. Yeah, I don't like killing bugs if it's outside. Well, if it's a cockroach, I'm out, you know, I'll kill that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Just like Esau is a cockroach. Yeah. Two thirds of our people are cockroaches. They're worse than a cockroach. Uh, Psalms 58 9. Before your pots can fill the thorn. <laughs> He shall take them away as with the whirlwind, both living and in his wrath. This is my favorite scripture. Mm -hmm. Psalms 58 and 10. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Now you gotta meditate on that scripture, man. Listen again. Listen closely. It says the righteous, which is us, Shall rejoice, that means we're gonna break out laughter, jubilation, and glee, happiness. Yeah. What's another word? Mirth. Huh? Mirth. There you go. Yeah. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. The vengeance, that's the Lord's vengeance, that's that destruction. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? We shall rejoice. The righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. That says the same thing as Revelation that we read, I think it was the last video, when the Lord said he's gonna tread the wine press of the fierceness of his anger or something like that. I forget exactly how it goes. But he's gonna be stomping fools' heads like grapes. That's right. And, and this says right here, the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance, and he shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. See We're gonna wash our feet in Esau's blood. We're gonna welcome it. We're gonna wash our feet in the blood of two thirds. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's so beautiful. Oh, watch this. Let me read that again. I know I read it again. I'm gonna read it again. Listen. The righteous shall the righteous shall rejoice when he seeth the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. So that a man shall say. Verily, there is a reward what? for the righteous. Verily, mm. he is a God that judgeth in the earth. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So they said that's a reward to see the, to see the to wash your feet in the blood of the wicked. That's a reward. I mean, we're gonna literally stomp them out of here. And we're gonna stomp them. <laughs> we're gonna squish them. We're gonna stomp them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's a reward to see your enemy put. No, it's that's a, a reward. reward for you to put your enemy to death. Yeah, that's a reward. That's right. That's, that's right. part of that blessing. That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It's coming. Yeah. That's, a it's coming. that's a perfect way to end the end the sermon. <laughs> the sermon, right? 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 right, right. <laughs> this right, right. is right. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sermon. <laughs> we in church right now. That's right. That's why I tell you. I tell people I'm going to church. They look at me like I'm stupid. You up on the pulpit right but, now? Yeah, I'm. A, <laughs> I'm in church. We in church right now. Right. This is church. The real church is the body, is your your soul and your spirit. That's Amen. the church. Uh, yeah, they sure is. They ain't worried about us. Not even in the least bit. Uh, Not even in the least bit. They got two thirds to deal with. Yeah. Try dealing with that. See how much you enjoy it. They gonna worry about us when we get that power though. <laughs> That's why nobody wants to be a cop. Who the hell would want to deal with two thirds hey, on that? Go see the fire department. Uh, got, uh, they doing a thing for uh, the lesbian, trans, uh, vestite. Uh, I hope, hey, I hope they burn in a fire. Yeah, yeah. I hope you motherfuckers fall through a flaming forest and fall onto a out. bed of spikes. Huh? She go stomp the motherfuckers out. Do I have it? Do I got it? Not physically. Not physically. Let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me check, huh? man. Let me check no, real no, quick. No, no, no. I can't hear you. No. Let me check real quick, man. I might have it on my phone. Unbelievable. Huh? Yeah, I'm going to fire the bar. They are Freemasons and shit anyway. Oh, yeah. Right. Bye. Bye. You can yeah. see their symbolism. Hold on. <laughs> they actual have. I mean, they, there's actual fraternal lodges, yeah, just for firemen. But the, the police officers, the Freemasons too. They have a pretty much 
what's that the fraternal order of the police downtown what's it called it, you go down i think it's on main street right right you know where main street ends downtown right right i think right, it's right there right. on main street the fraternal order of the police it's like an actual freemasonic to be a freemason i mean excuse me to be a police officer that's pretty much just another branch of freemasonry but it i mean these cops don't know what's going on though they lost you know the ones higher up in the top they know what's happening but the young dude they're they just retarded and the same thing with freemasons most people are actually freemasons they don't know nothing they don't know any but none of that occultic secrets and all that shit. They just think it's just a brotherhood that helps people and it help and it gives the charities and shit. Right. And then they lost. Yeah, yeah. That's how they they're compartmentalized. Okay, I guess it's okay. I just found out that the Rockefellers was trying to uh, finance AA when they What? Well, yeah, yeah, I mean the government uses the AA now. They, they force people in the courts to go to AA. I remember I was in high school, I was ordered to go to AA meetings because I got caught smoking weed. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, they've said you can go to AA meetings or you're expelled. Like, fuck. Shit, it was expelled. all good though because I had a good friend, my dude Sterling. He was in AA and he was already a good friend of mine. He took me to the meetings and we had a good time. At least. <laughs> He was a Jake for your ass, man. He lived right down there on Costco. Well, I shouldn't even say it, but he lived right yeah, same house. <laughs> same house. He talked like a straight up nigga. Straight for every pop. Columbus Fire. Columbus Firefighters join LGBT Spirit Day. Oh, that's fucked up. Damn. Lesbian. <laughs> now, what do you expect, though? What do you expect? <laughs> Lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual community. Now, how many God. of those firemen do you think are with it? Are they all with it? Oh, they, it was all of all the Columbus Firefighters. <laughs> was they all happy? Like, yes, oh, we're, yeah, yeah. we're going to make a change. Oh, we yeah. can make a difference. What's you the see hell? them posing together and shit. They, you know? They're probably in there. They like sliding down that pole. Yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> like sliding. That's right. So, we marking yeah. them motherfuckers. That's some faggot we're shit. We're man. witnesses. They come flying by with their horns blaring all the time. You know, the Lord never liked that shit. Using that Knights Templar cross. Mm -hmm. You know, the men and women of the Columbus Division of Fire.